Yeah, hi, guys, say hi. Um, so this is the updated tier list for Hunt Showdown. Uh, good times, good stuff, good things. It's the updated list. What more do you want, right? This is this is it. This is it, baby. This is it. This is it, right? This is it. Uh, first off, there's literally it's S through D. That makes sense. Um, if there was a, if there was an, a separate tier, if I could add another tier here, if I could add another one, right? If I can, I can, I can actually add another row. I actually want to add another row. I, I, I do. That's the first thing. I add a row below. I'm going to add a row below, and um, it needs a name, right? It needs a name. This one, yeah, cool. This one, and it's just going to be called, right? I'm going to get over right over and done with now. I'm just. It's just going to be its own thing, right? It's just Iron Devastator. It's in its own. It's in its own little world, right? No, actually, it's not going to be Iron Devastator. It's going to be James. It's going to be James tier. This is James tier, and these are things that are just horrible. These are not traits that you use. You basically shouldn't use them if you even have them on a hunter. You can pretty much respect them. They don't really do a whole bunch. It's just one of those things. Just, just you know, just just f off entirely. Okay. Iron Devastator can be used with slugs. I see it in the chat there, but. Um, you're still really not going to. Like, you can use it with slugs, but even though you can, you still probably won't. Right, you still probably won't. But anyway, let's get into it. So, Adrenaline, uh, straight up, Adrenaline, uh, it's just in James tier. Uh, it's just in James tier. Like, Adrenaline is, it's right in James tier. Like, that is where Adrenaline belongs. Don't use Adrenaline. What are you doing? Don't use it. Like, it, it doesn't really do much. For those who don't know, it's one point, which is cool. <clears throat> and you instantly start regenerating your stamina. Right, when your health is critically low. And that's that's nice, but like critically is when you're flashing. Um Yeah, it's in James tier. Right, it saves your ass from dogs. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's still in James tier. It doesn't change the fact it's in James tier. Just what are you doing? Don't use it. It's it's just in James tier. Um it can save your it can save your ass from dogs, but you know what? Bolt seer can it can be things. Um it, yeah, it would be useful if it activated immediately when you get revived. Exactly, exactly as Quantum said. As Quantum Byte just said, if you if you could use it, if you could yell at YouTube, if you could use it immediately upon revival, it would be good. It would actually not be in James tier, and it might actually be a little bit higher. Maybe, maybe C, because you'd use it in conjunction with resilience, and it would be a good time. But you know, you can't, and so because you can't, it's not that good, and so because you can't, I personally. I don't think it's that good. It's in James tier. For me personally, all of this is my own personal opinion. I think it's in James tier, right? Because when I put things in this tier that are in S, it's going to blow your f***ing mind. I promise you. There's things I'm going to put in here that's going to blow your mind. I promise. You're going to be very surprised. You're going to be very surprised. You're going to be like, why? Why have you put that there? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, we're all in agreement, pretty much. Yeah. We can all agree. James tier. Shut up, James. Can we all agree? Adrenaline's in James tier. It's pretty bad. Yeah. <clears throat> that's not good. It's just not good. Uh, anyway, next up we have uh, Ambidextrous. Uh, Ambidextrous is surprising. Hey Leanne, good to see you. Good morning. It's in C. Ambidextrous, solid C. Solid C. Um, Ambidextrous, for those who don't know, means that you reload matched pairs quicker. And uh, you have a custom clip reload for the semi-automatics. So like the Bornheim and the Dolch gets cool reloads. Good, Leanne. Thank you. Say hi to YouTube. We're going right there. Um, I hate you, Bambi. Anyway, yeah, so this, it's in the spam tier. It's pretty spammy, but uh, it's, it's goes, it goes right in C. It goes in C tier because dual pistols are very good. Right? Dual pistols are good, but like super niche, but because of that, it's still, it's one of those niche things. Right? Reloading your, your matched pistols quicker is really cool. I like that. It's a reload perk, and for those who are unaware, there's, there's, it's, it, it is, other than Bolt Thrower, right, it is, it's the only other quicker reloading perk, and it's really good. Okay, it's really good because of that, but it's still in C tier, right, it's still C because it's still for dual pistols. If it was for regular pistols, f*** yeah. If this was regular pistols, it'd be S tier. It would be, it wouldn't even be S, it'd be S+. Plus. There would. It would be S+. Plus. If it was regular pistol reloading, it would be S+. Plus. It would be so f***ing busted. But it's not. It's not. It's for jewels only. Right? It's a very particular playstyle. Very particular range. A little bit of RNG. Really. You know? So it's it's firmly in C. Um, and that's just where it stays. 
Uh, the next one is Beast Face. Beast Face is one that I have had trouble putting anywhere. Trouble. Because it's, it's one of those traits that you do not know how good it is until you actually have it. Like, you, you look at it. For those who don't know, Beast Face reduces your uh, reaction range of animals that aren't hellhounds. So crows and ducks, right? They have a, a a small, much smaller radius to you. As in, like, uh, well, not with the reaction. So animals and hunt react by sound. People think it's actually radius. It's not your proximity to them. It's actually the sound that you make. It's 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 if you're sprinting. So you can crouch next to crows or ducks, no problem, right? Um, you don't really with beast face. You don't really know how good it is until you've got it, and you don't really realize how good it is also until you don't have it. Um, it's basically the calm spirit of hunt. It's very good, right? Sometimes you can walk through crows with, yeah, you can almost walk through them, right? Um, yeah, as Rich, as Amrider says, beast face is normally S tier, but when I'm playing with Geeve, it's James tier. So, it works, yeah, it works on, it works on animals. <clears throat> Any reactions, it doesn't work on hellhounds, but it works on animals. It works on caged animals and chickens. I'm pretty sure, actually, I've never tested that, but I'm pretty sure it does. Um, beast face is very good. Right, it's very good. It's a very good perk. But it really depends on your playstyle. It does actually work on cage animals, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there we go. Marta just says it does. Yeah, it does work on cage animals. Um, it really depends on your playstyle. It really depends how you play hunt. But I truly, truly think Beast Face. Yeah, a solid A. I was, I was, I was fidgeting on that one, but solid A. Yeah. Solid A tier. It's three points, right? It's three points now. It's only three points. When it used to be five. When it was five, no. But it's it's probably A. I'd say A. Yeah, it used to be five. Um, but it's now three points. It's A tier. It's very good. It's very new player friendly. Um, I'm going to bully Maurice with it. It works on horses, works on anything that's an animal that's not a hellhound. So it's very good. A tier for sure. Very good trait. Three points. Probably pretty much always pick this up. It's so good. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's very good. Uh, next up is Bloodless. Bloodless sounds a very odd one um, because it, will, it, it it sounds like a weird one, right? It's four points. It makes it so that your bleeding can never go past intense. Um, again, a lot of these traits really depend on how you play, but for my own personal playstyle, for me personally, right, with how aggressive I play, I'm always pushing into people and frags are so dominant. It would be A, but because you see less and less frags now and more dynamite, at least on OCE, I'm putting bloodless solid in B. It's straight in B. Bleeding is not a thing you get you, you get a whole bunch of. It's very good against Fletchets and all that. Bloodless would be higher. It's one of those traits that the more you see the thing, the more you use it, and you don't really see a whole bunch of bleeding. You see it with Fletchets. You, you get it with grenades, but I still think it's B tier. <clears throat> good trait, fantastic trait. Four points, but... It doesn't... It costs four, four points. But uh, even Fletch, it's kind of rare. So that's, that's a no from me. Uh, next one is uh, Bolts here. And this is honestly just straight up an S tier. Um, honestly, being able to see Knives highlighted in Dark Side for two points. It's just trash. Don't even bother. Let's move on. Next up is Bolt Thrower. Absolutely fucking amazing. Uh, I almost want to put it in S. If you're running crossbows, it's just so good. I'm just moving on with Bolts here because it's just so dumb. Like... You, you, for two traits, for two points, you can see your bolts and throwing knives in dark side. No one cares. Move on. It's really cool for a new player perk, but uh, yeah, move on. Bolt throw, actually first thing in the S tier. Bolt throw is, is first trait to go in the S tier, because if you use a f***ing crossbow, bolt throw is mandatory. And because it, and you might think, oh, well, I use dual pistols, so, so, so ambidextrous is, is mandatory. Absolutely no. You can still do just fine without ambidextrous because you've got such volume you've got such volume of rounds but if you play with a crossbow right if you play with a crossbow absolute s 100 percent. it halves the reload time that's very good that's so good especially prior to the recent weapon patch it would have been a but also now you can play a crossbow and you can have a multitude of bolts dude right the crossbow is shit without it. You actually need this trait pretty much to make crossbows good. That's why it's S. And it's because it's so good. It's just so good. It changes the it changes the weapon from eh to fantastic. 
And because you can now mix and match your bolts, it's so good. It's fantastic. Really good. S tier. Not even debatable, in my opinion. If you don't agree, that's okay. Let me know. That's fine. Um, but just, yeah. For me, personally, it's so good. Bullet Grubber. Oh, man, did I love Bullet Grubber so much. Bullet Grubber would have been an A for me, but they've changed it, right? They've changed reloading recently. And I hate to say it, but because of the price and because of what it does... For those who don't know, Bullet Grubber catches a round, right? I never used crossbows, thought it'd be A. Now it's S, 100% near. It's S. It's so good. The gospel and the shot bolt and I've been converted. Yeah, exactly. Bullet Grubber is so good. For those who don't know, Bullet Grubber catches this. The If you try to perform a partial reload on a Spectre, a Mosin, a Bornheim, a LaBelle, or a Dolch, uh, or the Terminus, the new Winnie, you will, if you partial reload, you will eject a round. And uh, with Bullet Grubber, you will catch it. Without Bullet Grubber, you lose it. But as of the most recent patch, uh, what are we, like 1.5.7 or something, um, you are able to manually, at least on the Mosin and the LaBelle, manually reload when the case gets ejected. You can press reload and you can put a new bullet in so you don't actually lose it. So as a result, the amount of weapons that this trait was effective on was reduced. So there were six weapons that it was usable on. It's now been reduced to four. And of those four, two of them I can justify it entirely. Like the Dolch and the Bornheim, 100% you should use this trait to keep your round, your extra round, 100%. The Terminus, eh, I don't think so. Spectre also, eh, I don't think so. And because it costs six points now... It's firmly in C. I used to love Bullet Grower, but it's firmly in C for me. I don't really use the Spectre and the Ladolch that much, really. And being able to partial reload on my weapon otherwise is not a problem. It's firmly in C. It costs six points. If they reduce the cost, which they should, it'd be great. Does the new reload slow down the fire rate? No, it doesn't. So, yeah, it's C. It's really C. Bulwark, not even a question. Absolutely A tier. Bulwark's fucking amazing. It's so good. Bulwark is so f***ing good. It's such a good trait. Bulwark is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing trait. It reduces the damage from explosions and bomb lance. So if you get stuck with a bomb lance and you have Bulwark, you do not die. You just f***ing live. Okay? It's so good. And it's just, it's so good. Bulwark is, is, is... It's so good. Also, actually, it saves you from alert mines, doesn't it? Actually, it's going in S. It's say I just remembered. It remember it, it it saves you from alert barrels. So it's S tier. It actually is. It's S tier. It's not even it's not even a maybe. It's an S tier. It was already A, but I completely forgot about barrels. It's S tier. Hundred percent. It's it, it's just the fle it's honestly look. It's a flex to S, right? It's two points. You reduce the damage from all explosions. Uh, bomb lands can't one shot you. Alert barrels can't one shot you. It's it's S. I completely forgot that it did that. I completely forget. As a bomb lance main, I must say, Borwalk is garbage. Never pick it. <laughs> I completely forgot it saves you from... Barrels. Actually, does it, though? I'm now wondering... Does it? Are we sure it does? It does. I'm pretty sure it does. I'm blanking now. I don't think it does if you're close. It depends on the distance. It depends on the distance. It doesn't affect frags. No, it's it's explosions. It's it's just dynamite and stuff. It's dynamite and stuff. I think it actually does, but you've got to be a decent. You can't be like right next to the barrel. I don't know. Regardless, it's still S. Even if that's not the case, it's still fucking good. It's still S. Uh, conduit. Oh my goodness, conduit. Can we just can we just talk about conduit? Can we just talk about conduit for a second? Absolutely. Not even a question. Uncontested. Conduit is absolutely amazing, right? You get health and stamina boost when you pick up a clue or a rift or a bounty token. It's in D tier. No one cares. Um, moving on. So he seems very confident, Richie. Yeah, I want to test that. Even even if I'm wrong about um, that protecting you from barrels. It's still an S. It doesn't matter. It's still an S regardless because it protects you from a bomb lance. It protects you from an explosion. It's still S and it's two points. It's two, right? It's two trade point. It's two. That's so 
good. Uh, it's so good. It does work on red barrels, actually, Tasty. It does. 100% it does. <clears throat> anyway, Conduit D tier. Doesn't really do much for you. Uh, it's really good for new players. You get health and stam when you pick up a clue, a rift, or a bounty token. It used to be just a clue and a rift, and now it's also a bounty token. So if you pick up a bounty, you get health. That's kind of cool. It's so cool, but... um, Yeah. A lot of the times, you don't even bother. Uh, anyway, so for this next one, uh, this is the one, one of the ones that's going to blow your mind. And we actually have a clip on it. And in the video, we're going to play a clip. But Dauntless is S tier. It 100% is S tier. It's not even a little bit S tier. It is 100%. Dauntless is so f***ing good. Dauntless is so good. It is so good. It is so good. And to the people who are watching this and who don't understand why it's so good and why it's S, then I'm going to about to educate you. I'm going to educate you why it's so good. Provided you remember you have it. Yeah, it's so good because within, a, I think it's three meters. Try using it on console. This is on PC. I'm on PC. I'm a PC player. You can, you can defuse grenades. And that doesn't sound like much. But it works on all grenades, all throwables. It also works on choke bombs. Right? Also works on choke bombs. You can put out your flares, you can put out chokes. So if you if you burn someone and you're standing with the person who's burnt and the other team throws and the other team throws a choke bomb, you can just put it out. You just dauntless their choke bomb. Right? It's such a good trait. Now we have a clip that we could use that we could show, but I might even just bring it up on stream, potentially. Right? If you, yeah, exactly. I might even just bring it up on stream. It only costs one as well. Where is it? Dauntless? We might even bring it up on stream here. We have the clip. Yeah, we have the clip. We have the clip. Here we go. We have the clip. Here it is. Here's the clip. This is the one. Dauntless value, baby. Please watch. I'm trash. It. Dead. Oh, hit the, hit the zombie there. Blueprint here if you want it. Get f***ed. Dauntless long. He's dead. Dauntless value, Two. Baby. baby. What do you what, what do you want? And this other guy just didn't know what was happening. He was like, "Oh God, I'm so I'm so dead." But l right. Let's just go back. Let's, that was dead. That was death. Get he knew I was dead. Get dauntless, long. Dauntless, He's baby. Dead. Okay, Two. that's all you need to know. Dauntless, yeah, are absolutely amazing. Dauntless is incredible. What are you doing? Use dauntless. It's so good. Okay, it's so good. Dauntless is so good. Enough said. <laughs> Dauntless. Okay, Dauntless value. Okay, Dauntless value. <laughs> so good. So a lot of you are like, oh, why is Dauntless so good? Yeah, now you know, okay? It's stuff like that when you just go log it. Right? Until you've got someone who cooks their nades. Yeah, no, people throw a cooked nade at you. Yeah, you're completely boned. They throw it over your head, oyster, and they, they're completely boned. But you know what? I've had people who've cooked nades, thrown it at me. Right? And I've diffused it like in midair. You can totally do it. But yeah. Yeah. Those moments are rare? Not at all. Not at all, GameCube. You remember you've got it? I promise you. You remember you've got Dawnless? You remember that you have Dawnless and you will be using it far more often than you think you will. It's very good. It is very good. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even if a lot of you are like, oh, it's very rare, it's still one point. It is one point. One the ability to do that for one point is dumb. It's very good. It's one point. It's one slot. doesn't matter. It's still one point. It's one point. The value you get, right? These traits are not just ranked based on their usage. It's based on their point to efficiency. And for one point, you get so much. S tier. It's valuable. So good. Absolutely so good. Uh, yeah, as Amrata said, say it's not S tier because it's rare when that one time saves you level 50. You're for one point, it's very good. And not even that, like you put out choke bombs, you can put out so, it's so good. Right, it's so good. So good. Anyway, next up is, this is, uh, Dead Eye Scope Smith, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a small scope in its hands. So I'm pretty sure that's Dead Eye Scope Smith, yeah. So Dead Eye Scope Smith. Still tanks one of the 15 trade slots? It does. It does. It totally does. But you know what? If I had to choose 
if you had to, if I had to choose between Dauntless, right? If I had to choose between Dauntless and Determination, I'm taking Dauntless. If I had to choose between Dauntless and Hornskin, I'm taking Dauntless. If I had to choose between Dauntless and Salve Skin, I'm choosing Dauntless. If I had to choose between Dauntless and Necromancer, of course I'm choosing Necromancer. But then I'm choosing Dauntless. Okay? It's so good. It's such a good... Anyway, this is, this is, Dead, this is Dead Eye Scopesmith. Um, Dead Eye Scopesmith is also one point, And it's good for your Dead Eye Scopes. It depends. Right? It, it honestly, this is a hard one because it depends how much you use them. I don't really use scopes. So for me, it's C. No, for me, it'd be, uh, for me, it'd be B, actually. But I don't really use them. I don't really use scopes. But when you do, you'd want it. Because the Deadeye scopes, by and large, don't have a lot of range outside of the Martini. But the Martini fires one bullet, so why do you fucking care? You don't. Really, you're going to be using this on the Vettely. Or you're going to be using this on the Mare's Leg. Which is the Winnie, the Winnie Vandal, sorry. You're going to be using this on the on the Winnie Vandal or the Vettily, pretty much. And I do think it's probably, it's so, it's solidly in, no, uh, it's in C. Solidly in C. You rank, you remain down the sides, blah, blah, blah. I think it's C, honestly. Um, yeah, and the Carbine, did I? Thank you, Nagant Carbine as well. I do think it's firmly in C. <clears throat> okay, decent trait, firmly in C. Probably where I'm going to put it. Uh, just me personally. Our next one is decoy resupply. Absolutely S. No, not really. Absolutely A. Because you can get decoy fuses back. And if you use decoy fuses, no one fing cares. It's in James Tier. It's in James. No, it's actually no, it's in D. It's in D. Uh it's it's in D. Because really the only use for uh No, it's in C. C. Solid C. I'm keeping it in C. It's a strong C. Because you can get decoy fuses back. Only because of decoy fuses. Literally only. If you couldn't get decoy fuses back, it wouldn't matter. It's in C. It's staying in C. Look, decoys are okay. Uh, blank fires are okay. But decoy fuses are so good. Decoy fuses are so good. You can get decoy fuses back. Yeah, you can. And we have another clip as well, actually. If you don't know... How good decoy fuses are. Yeah, we have another clip too. If you don't know how good decoy fuses are, let me quickly show you how good decoy fuses are. Now, don't get me wrong, I am using a dolt in this clip, but I feel like this is a good example. From here, I should have taken the. Should have kept the other pistol. This is how good decoy fuses are. Please watch. Do you have levering? Do you have levering? The decoy fuse! Oh, it feels bad. One more time. Whoops. Beautiful. Thing of beauty. Absolute thing of beauty. Absolute thing of beauty. Now you know it's really good. So yeah, decoy fuses use them. They're very good. Yeah, probably C tier. But Dolch. Yeah, it's fine. It wasn't my Dolch. Didn't matter. I don't care. So, uh, yeah, very good. Very good. Uh, next up is Determination. Determination is... Oh boy. Determination is an odd one for me because I go through phases of really liking it and then really not using it and I don't really use Determination anymore. It, Greyhound Determination used to be, you know, uh, something I also, always used to use. Resupply also helps in that you can use ammo crates before using a toolbox and you won't get decoys from the toolbox. Yeah, thank you, Harpler. Um... Determination is very good. Your stamina recovery starts. It's it's very good, right? It's very good. If you wait, for, if you're out of, if you've got Greyhound and Determination, and you're out of breath, and you stop for a few seconds, and then run again, it's very good. It's a very good trait. I'm gonna have to put it in B. <clears throat> um, it's very good. B to A. Um, yeah, B tier, A tier. Uh, in conjunction with Greyhound, A tier, 100%, but you're not using them. We're talking about just by themselves. I usually bring a stem shot, right? I usually bring a stem shot. So for me, and remember, this is just me personally. It goes there. For me personally, it goes in B. It could be A, potentially, but no, no, no. Uh, next up is Doctor, and I don't think we need to discuss this. Do we, Chen? Do we need to discuss where this goes? Honestly, do we need to discuss? I don't think we do. I think we all know where Doctor goes. Yeah, I don't think we need... Okay, chat, put, put where you think Doctor's gonna go. Honestly. 
I don't I, I don't think we need to discuss. Like, honestly, I don't think we need to discuss where it goes. Like, if there was an S+, plus, it would be there. Yeah. I don't think we need to discuss. Can we all agree? Yeah, it's an S tier. If we can discuss. It's so good. It's so good. It's so fuck. It's like S++++. Plus, 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 plus. Yeah, if there was an S+, plus, honestly, I might even just make an S+, plus just for... I honestly might. I might make an S+, plus just for Doctor. Honestly, I just might. I'm tempted. I, you know, I think I might. I actually might, and it's, it's just going to be called Doctor. It's just Doctor. It's just, it's just Doctor. Like that, that's just literally it. That's just, that's just, just Doctor. It goes there. We all know it goes there. That's where it belongs. Like honestly, it, it just, it's so good. It's just Doctor tier. It has its own tier, right? You need to make one because it's better. Uh, you need to make one because it's better. All the other ones you mistakenly, mistakenly get out of here. Yeah, it just it, it goes there. One hundred percent, one hundred percent goes there. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, I don't think anyone could really doubt that. It doubles the amount of health from first aid kits. So instead of fifty, you get one hundred, which means all you have to do is if you get hit, you re let your fifty bar regenerate, and then you use a med kit and you go to full. It's just so good. It's so good. We don't need to... Uh, it doesn't need to be discussed. It's so very good. It doesn't matter. It's 8 points, right? It could be 10 points and I'd still buy it. I'm serious. It could be 10 and I would still buy it for 10. It'd still be good. It would still be freaking good. That's how good it is. Right? That's how good it is. 100%. It could be 10 and I'd still pick it up. Anyway, um... Fanning. Fanning's a hard one. Fanning is a very hard one. Fanning is very hard. Fanning is very good. Fanning's hard because for me personally, I don't use it a whole bunch, but a lot of people, but when, it, but when you do it, like fanning's very expensive what it is, but it should be. It's, I think it's in either A or S. It's seven points, right? It is very, don't get wrong, fanning is very good. Fanning is great and fanning has definitely saved my ass. I think I can put fanning... Because the look, like, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, right? The reason why these are an S is because these traits are all game changers completely. This you go, you just don't use a crossbow without it. You don't use a crossbow without bolt throw. You just don't. Daunt, uh, Dauntless is just f***ing value for one point. Bulwark is two, and it's so good. Fanning gives you. I actually do think it goes an S. It goes an S. You know why? You know why I'm putting it an S? It's because it is super expensive. But the reason why it goes in S is because if you have a pistol and you have fanning, right? You also, and you have, and your primary is a long range weapon. Then you have a long range weapon. You have a mid range because of your pistol. And you also have a close range because of fanning. You have a close range because of fanning. And I think that that alone is worth it. Right? I think actually it deserves to be an S because you will not use... Like if you get you get three options. It changes how you play completely. Instead of having two options, you now have three. Yeah, I think it would be S. Otherwise, it would be an A. It'd be A plus. I think honestly, if there was a tier for A plus, it would go A plus, hundred percent. But there's not. It would go an A plus. But it would. It would go there. It's very good. But yeah, S. I think because it it, it opens you up. It gives you options. It gives you a close range option, a very fast, quick, uh, close range option. And for certain guns that are really accurate, that's it. That like, like, like the, uh, the silence Nagant or just the regular Nagant, like it's options. It's an auto pick. It's very good. I think it's very good. Uh, the next one is really difficult. This is really hard. Frontiersman is so hard. It's so hard. To, to place, but I think it goes in A. I think it goes in A. Maybe even B. But there's a reason why I'm saying A over B. And I'll tell you why. It is 8 points. That's a lot of points. The same as Doctor, right? But the reason why it's A is because you, you will always run a med kit, right? You will always run a med kit. And suddenly now you have 4 uses on that med kit. Especially if you combine it with Doctor... You have four full heals, plus the two vits you usually bring. It's... If when it's combined with things, it's amazing. But 
at the very least, you will always bring a med kit. Always, always, always you'll bring it. Let's let's talk about things people always bring. Right? You will always bring a med kit. You will most likely always bring a choke bomb. Right? So you've got three chokes, four meds, right? Who brings two vit? I don't know. I bring one vit. If I have Frontiersman and Doctor, I'll bring one vit. But yeah, it's so good. It's honestly A. It is. It's eight points. It's expensive. But unlike Fanning, which completely changes. Which completely changes um, how things are play, how you play. It just gives you more. This just gives you more of what. Also, I've been notified that there's a Discord call going where I'm being judged and f James. Okay, get out of here. I think that's where it goes. Truly, honestly, I think that's where it belongs. Moving on. Uh, next is actually a really, really good one. Right. Starting a podcast roundtable about why you're wrong. That's fine. This is just my opinion. I'm right. This is just my opinion. Right. The question is, you have eight points, you already have a doctor. Do you go Frontiers or Physician Pack Meal? I'd go Physician. Physician, because you're saving time. Anyway, next is Gator Legs. Gator Legs is a hard one. Gator Legs is very good. Gator Legs you get mad value out of. Gator Legs is so good. Gator Legs is so good now. Gator Legs is so good, and I think it goes in B. Maybe even A. No, it goes in B. Moving across water quicker is surprisingly good. And the fact you make less noise... Oh, it's two points, isn't it? Gate Legs is two points. I think just based on cost alone, it's... Yeah, it's A. It's so good. Like, there's never a time where you don't really want to pick up Gate Legs. And you'd be surprised how often the less noise crouching water helps. Yeah. For me, Gate Legs is an A. 100%. You just book through water. Cypress Hut's not a problem. Not a f***ing problem. Come at me. Catfish Grove? Don't even care. Come at me. I think it's very good. J uh, Richie, I want the blo I want the play-by-play -play of the round table. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Scupper Lake, Gator Legs? Doesn't matter. Catfish? Come at me. Cypress? Don't give a f***. Hey, Taipei. How are you, dude? Um, I tried to train. You only survive if you hit the very far end. Yeah, you only... So, exact. So yeah. So, Bulwark is still S because you'll still live if a barrel kills you. But on the very tip of it. Not like next to it, but the tip of it. You still live it. Play-by-play? -play? Not really, but just give me... Give me... Economy's wrong. Okay, don't give me the play-by-play -play then. Anyway, I still think it's... I still get this there. <laughs> I can give you the play... B, he nailed it. Oh, it's an A. I think... I think it's A. It's very good. Um, I think it's very good. I think it deserves to be there. Just because of the fact that when you've got it, you just... You, you don't even worry about water. It's so... Good. Right? Yeah, water is an issue. It just changes your pathing. And being able to being able to cut through water, though, so quick, it, it's so good. It, yeah, it's so good. Gator Legs just changes your pathing completely. A lot of the a lot of the map is water anyway, on some on at least one of the two maps. Right? Finding that uh, between Lock Bay and Pitching with Gator Legs, not a problem. Right? You'll be so happy you've got it. I think that's where it deserves to be. Cool! Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on from that, I think. Right, yeah, Bulwark, you can't get slapped by a bomb lance either. Exactly. Let's move on to Ghoul. Ghoul, oh, Ghoul is very difficult. You want to know why Ghoul is so difficult? Ghoul is so difficult because... Have you played with the new Ghoul? Do you know how good it is? It's so good for surviving. It's so good. But it probably goes in B, maybe. It's hard for me. It's hard because it's a very new Ghoul. Yeah, Ghoul has been changed, in case you didn't know. The new ghoul is amazing. How ghoul works now, for those who don't know, is if you kill a grunt within 25 meters, right, it restores health. It restores... It gives you a small amount of health. And that small amount of health is enough to heal back bars. Right? If you're missing a 50 brick, not like burned off, but if you're missing a bar, you can kill a ghoul and regen the bar. It will push it into the next bar and then start regenerating within it's in within it's, it's within 25 meters right yeah ghoul is within 25 even shooting them yeah it doesn't have to melee them it's within 25 meters if you kill as a grunt within 25 meters you gain health back right it's so good it's very good 
Uh, you say that. You say that. See if you have all small bars. No. You want to know why, Ties? If you time it right, and I can, I've done it on stream, and I'm, I don't have a clip of it, I don't think. But if you time it correctly, you can actually, if you're, let's just say you're on 50 health, right? And all your other bars are small, right? If you time it right, you never stop regenerating. And your health can go all the way to 100. In case you don't know, if you stab a zombie, you gain health, or not stab, if you shoot a zombie or kill a grunt within 25 meters, you gain health back. And if you consistently keep killing them, like, and you'd never let your regen pause, it goes all the way to the top, baby. Yeah, I do think it's B. It's not really going to happen in PvP. It definitely has happened in PvP. It saved me in PvP, I can tell you that much. Um, it's definitely saved me medkits. Here's the main reason why you have Ghoul and why it's good. It saves you medkits. If you know there's a, 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 a grunt nearby, right? It saves you a medkit. You just shoot the grunt and let the bar regen. That's why it's in B and it's not going to be any higher. It is very good. It works in PvP. You can definitely get value out of it. But I think predominantly, I think it goes in B. I think it's where, where it belongs. I'm probably going to make a lot of people angry here. I'm gonna make a lot of people angry with, with this next one. Let me tell you, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a lot of people angry. I just know. I know. I'm waiting. I'm gonna make a lot of people angry. <laughs> Do it, cat. You know, I'm gonna skip. I'm skipping. I'm gonna come back to it. I'm coming back to it. I'm coming back to. I'm coming back to it. I'm coming back. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it because we'll come back to it. Yeah. We'll 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 circle back around to Greyhound because I know where Greyhound's gonna go and the backlash will be incredible. Um, don't be that guy. I'm being that guy. Yeah. It's a very good trait, and I'm uh, I'm coming back to it. Yeah, um, yeah, we're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> we're moving. We're moving. On. Okay, if you want me to to go into Greyhound now, press one. If you want me to just come back to it, press two. Okay, let me know. That's that's it. We'll do we'll do it via democracy. We'll do a vote. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to f do it. <laughs> no. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. The round table's going to scream. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. I think the I think the twos win though. No, the ones win. Um. Okay. I use a lot of stamina. I want to preface this. Okay. I want to preface this by saying I use a lot of stamina shots. Okay. I use a lot of stamina shots. So, so it doesn't really do a whole bunch to me, right? Because I use a lot of stem shots. Okay, full disclosure, a lot of stems. A lot of stems. But getting it over and done with, for four points, being able to sprint at full speeds for a longer duration, take it to you. Moving on. Horde skin. Uh, reducing damage taken from blunt melee. Just... I almost want to put it in James. I think A. A. I think I was gonna make some. I thought I was gonna make some people angry. I really thought I was gonna make some people angry with that one. But I really think A. I think A. A is where it belongs. You no, know, the reason why is because some other don't use it. Whereas I, I basically never use it. I don't use Greyhound, but I understand how good it is. Right? What does Ghoul do? You never explained. Yeah, I did. I explained what Ghoul does. If you. Oh, maybe it's even in B. No, it's an A. I thought about it. Um, I thought about it. I thought about it. Yeah, I thought about it. Greyhound's very good. Yep. Uh, Ghoul, by the way, gives you health back if you kill a grunt within 25 meters. I had no idea what I was looking for at the moment. It's it's fine. Hey, Ophelia, how you doing? Ghoul's very good. Ghoul's a very good trait. Anyway, uh, next up, is that Iron Devastator? It is. D. Absolutely D. Horn skin, you take less damage from, from blunt instruments. It's pretty much... Yeah, just don't even bother. Yeah, 25 meters. It's very good. So that's why Ghoul is B. It's very good. It's very good. If you don't use Staminas, it's a must-have. Yeah, I don't use them. I don't use them. Oh, sorry, I use Stamina Shots. This, again, this is my own personal opinion. I personally run Stams, so I don't get much dist I don't get much use for Determination. Right? It's a good trait, but, you know. I have my Stam Shots, and I, I, I always usually bring in one, sometimes two. And I, I wait... I wait to use them. I don't use them at the start of the game. I wait. Uh, next up is Iron Devastator, which we've put in, uh, and I think that's honestly in D. Devastator is definitely more useful because slugs, 
but you've still got to remember, like, <laughs> it's still it's still on the spectre, right? Yeah, I guarantee you'll end up having a phase. Yeah, I probably will, Richie. I probably will. And I'll, it'll still be in B. Determination is very good. Not as good as Greyhound. Being able to sprint at longer speeds versus my stam going back quicker? Greyhound. <clears throat> I still think it's in D. I don't think it deserves to be any better. I think that's just, that's where it should be. Uh, Iron Repeater? Now, this is an odd one. This I'm definitely going to make some people angry at, I reckon. I really do think I'm going to make some people f***ing angry with this. Maybe, 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 maybe. But I'm just going to do them back to back because I think both the repeaters probably go in the same spot. <clears throat> I think both repeaters deserve to be an A. Iron Repeater and Iron Sharpshooter, I think they both deserve to be an A. Honestly. Because a Winnie with Iron Repeater is f***ing good. I think they're both solid. Are we in agreement, chat? Like, if you agree that you think both Sharpshooter and Repeater should be an A, can you just put a 1 in chat? Because I think they should be. 100%. I think they're very good. Right? I think they deserve to be in A. They're both very good traits. Iron Devastator should be where it is, but Sharpshooter and Repeater deserve to be where it is. I really do. Um, this is so good. So, so good. You could even make an argument if there was an S, if there was an A plus for sharpshooter and, and repeater, maybe, but there's not, so that's where they deserve. Um, kite skin, kite skin is a difficult one. Uh, by the way, they are two points and three points, other way around, uh, two points and three points respectively, right? They actually cost different amounts, uh, not by much though, but a little bit. Uh, kite skin, one point. Uh, kite skin is such a good f***ing quality of life trait. Um, now I've got a, a fair few hours in hunt now. And I can tell you that Kite Skin has saved me so many f***ing times. And it saves you passively. It doesn't save you by, like, you don't die from the fall. It saves you passively by taking fall damage and then you don't get f***ing sparks to death. Right? Kite Skin is so good. It's one point. One point. And it changes completely how you play. Dauntless is better than it. Agreed. Dauntless is better than it. It's an A. It's an A. Can I put more things in? I can, I think. Uh, it's an A. Yeah, I'm going to put an A. It goes in A. A is where it belongs. I think A, it deserves to be there. It's very good. Great trait. Absolutely fantastic. A plus if there was an A plus. It's almost S. It's almost S. The only reason it's not S. Very literally. It's like 90%. It's, all, it's really good. The only reason why it's not S. The only reason. It's because I remember the days when there was no fall damage. Okay? I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. So f*** you. This is a... This is a revenge A. This is a revenge listing. You could sort them in the tier itself, so put uh, Kite Skin on the far left as the best book. Oh, I could actually sort them. Oh, then I'm, that's more. If I'm sorting them on this... I don't know about sorting. That's That's a whole thing. I don't know. I like that way that is though. But if they if I was sorting them, I would do that. But that's where I'm putting them. Uh, levering levering's really good. Uh, levering's just fantastic. Levering's just a fantastic f***ing trait. It's so good. Much like bolt thrower. Um, unlike bolt thrower, you don't need it, but it's still very good. Um, I'm again. I'm probably gonna get. I think levering is really good. Better than fanning, in your opinion? No way. Happen. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Right. I'll tell you why. As I've explained before, if you run fanning, right? If you run fanning, you have a long range option, a mid range option, and a short way, a short range option. Levering is very good. It gives you, it does give you a close range option. It does, it does. But the close range spam of it is pretty ridiculous. You're already going to use it on a weapon that's very strong. You give, I give kind of skinness because it's one point. You know, that time I jumped down church and survived, use a med kit at the base, and then. Like the guy. Oh, you can definitely do things with it, Richie. You can definitely do cool things with it. I just think it's a purely. It's out of spite. It honestly, honestly, I think kite skin probably should be yes, but it's out of spite. I'm putting it there because I remember no fall damage. Um, but the reason being is, the reason I'm putting this in A and not in S is it does increase rate of fire and it does do all that. And it's three points. It's very good for three. Oh, actually, maybe it should be. It's three points. Yeah, it's got to be yes. It's three points. It's three points. Right? If it was any more, it'd be lower. But it would be, it would be, it would be three points. And that's probably where I'm going to put it. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah. 
Um, Lightfoot. Lightfoot is fantastic. For those who don't know, Lightfoot makes it so you can vault, jump, and fall, and climb ladders silently. I'm going to put this to a vote. Give me the letters through S through... Honestly, we know where it's going to be, but give me S through B where you think it's going, because I know where it's going. Lightfoot's so f***ing good. Lightfoot is so good. Doctor Tear? Lightfoot's probably pretty good. Yeah, it probably almost deserves to be there, but it's not. Yeah. Lightfoot's going in S, boys. It's going in S. It's so good. Lightfoot is so good. You want to know how you know it's so good? You just rebind, rebind, vault, and jump. And Lightfoot is so good. It is so good. What it gives you. Back before it got nerfed. Hey, good old thanks for the raid, baby. It's so good. It's just so f***ing good. It's so good. Welcome in. Lightfoot. S. Not even a maybe. It's on the bottom tier of S. But I'd still put it higher than fanning. I'd put it higher than levering. Yeah. Uh, next we have... Which one's this? This is... Marksman? Yeah, this is Marksman. Um, I I have to... I don't use scopes, remember? I don't really use them. So this is really difficult for me. Right? I don't really use them. But the weapons that have Marksman scope... Are very good. Like LaBelle. So I think B... B or even A, maybe, but I'm going to say B. I remember, this is me personally. I don't use, I don't use scopes. I just don't. The Winnie and the LaBelle, yeah. I don't, and I, obviously there's a Martini, but it's only got one round. I don't use scopes, so that's a really hard one for me. Five points a bit much, but I like Lightfoot. It is very good. Bolt Thrower and Bulwark, yeah, 100% fast, because Bolt Thrower is mandatory for a crossbow. If you're using a crossbow, you're using Bolt Thrower. You're not playing crossbow without it. You're just not. And as a result, it's S. Also, you're changing bolts around, like you now you can have multiple options. Yeah, you're using it. 100%. Bulwark saves you from bomb lance, saves you from red barrels even as well, if you're a decent distance away from them. Yeah, it's so good. And it's two points. That's why they're then. I think B for scope smiths, if you want to reposition. Um, I'm even going to grab the sniper scope smith and put it in there as well. Hopefully we're in agreement. Buffages! I don't really use them. So it's hard for me, but I feel like that's where it belongs. Okay, because it's difficult for me. Uh, next, we have Mithridatus. Mithridatus is a very good trait. I love Mithridatus. Mithridatus is so good. Yeah, if I was to actually put them, it would be in top of B. Agreed. 100% agreed. If I was actually moving them around, it would be top. It would be top. Actually, so would Determination. Determination would be up there too. I actually will, I will move these around. I'll move these around to where they belong. Um, 100% I would. Yeah. Uh, Mithridatus is very good, but uh, I... I honestly just put it in B. I put it there with Bloodless. Because you see more po poison is really just a really an issue for Hives. Honestly... Nah, maybe even C. You get more bleeding than you do poison. I actually think maybe it belongs in C. You don't see, like, honestly, it, honest, it's so hard because it depends on what people bring. But against a hive bomb, you're fucking laughing. And antidotes exists, right? Antidotes exist. So I think it's C. Because antidotes are a thing and people don't really bring in antidotes. Now this next one, I promise you, I'm going to upset some people. Unlike, I honestly thought I was going to upset with Greyhound, but I'm going to upset some people. With Necromancer. I think a lot of you. This is this is one that people uh, arm and err on a lot, and I'm 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 gonna move I'm gonna move from Necromancer and come back to it because I know I'm gonna upset some people. I'm positive. I'm positive. Hey Kranosos, how you doing, dude? Mithridatus is good, but yes, yeah, see you too. Necromancer uh, is is so good. I feel like I'm gonna anger some people with this one, so we will we will move back to it. Um, you're going to new rank, pretty much, yeah. Um. If you okay, I know we did this before with with democracy, but if you want me to come back to this one, don't say anything. 
But if you want me to talk about Necromancer right now, give me a one. Because democracy is going to choose. If you, I could, I'm happy to cycle back to it, but if you really want me to talk about it now, because I know exactly where Necromancer goes, and I feel like I'm going to anger some f***ing people. Okay. Right, I think democracy is chosen. We've got, what, we've got like 600 people here, so I feel like democracy is chosen. Uh, not even a question. It's in, it's in, it's in its own little tier. We're not even going to change the name. It's in Doctor slash Necro. It's in its own little f***ing world. It's in its own tier. It's in its own everything. 100% it's, it's in its own thing. And it's so good. At four points? At four points? It, honestly, if you play solo, you don't get any use out of it, right? Doctor is still where it is because even if you play solo, it's good. But... Nectar? Oh, I can call it Nectar, I suppose. If you're... A solo, you get no use out of it. But if you're in the squad, which most likely you are, Necromancer is so good. Absolutely so good. It is, how is it next to Doctor? Because of the plays that you can make that no other trait gives you. No other trait, it's utterly game changing. The, the power, it's four points as well, Nero. It is a four point trait. And it's absolutely game changing. It's affected the meta. Thank you. Like 357 said, it's affected the meta in terms of people now bring concertina bombs. It has completely affected how people play Hunt. It has completely changed the game. It's also affected people's KD. Yeah. It's very good. Right? It's now a reason why I bring a 50 bar at the top so I can necro people and not lose my, my health. Right? Necro is so good. It is a four point trait. Right? It's a four point trait. And even if it was a, you know what, some, you know what, guys, guys, even, even, even if it was fucking six points, I'd still buy it. And you want to know something? I think the rest, I think I feel like all of you can agree with me here. Even if it was eight points, you'd still probably get it. You'd still probably buy it if it was eight. Right? You know it. I know it. You'd still get it because it's so good. You'd still 100% get it. Many times I shot who was necroed and survived and had resilience in particular. It's so good. We could talk and talk and talk about it, but we've got to move this trait, this list on because this video is going to get very long. Right, it's going to get very long otherwise. So let's move over. Um, pack Mule. Pack Mule's hard. Pack Mule's hard to raid uh, because... it's it, You get an extra tool or consumable when looting or opening. Right? Pack Mule's difficult. It requires you to perform an action to gain the benefit of it. And even then, you get an extra of something, and that's nice. Right, getting two med kits back? Oh, yes. Getting two charges of a med kit? Absolutely. But I think it's in B tier. I think it's in B. I honestly do. I think it's in B tier. Um, I think it's high B tier. I think it's towards the higher end of it. It's very good. It's a very good trait. Very good trait. So good. Love pack meal, but I'm going to put it in high B. It is three points, but it's the same as determination, right? It's the same as determination. It's three points. It's very good. You get your consumable back. You get an extra consumable and tool. That's really, really good. That's great. But if you're clapping people, it doesn't really f***ing matter, right? And you can't control what you get back. I think it's really good. I think it's such a good trait. It probably even needs to be at the high. Oh, maybe even A? Yeah, A. I think it blows, goes in bottom A, actually. Bottom of A, actually. I'm going to move it up. Yeah, I'm going to move it up. I'll move it up to low A, because you get you get two things back. It's low A. It's A. It's definitely up. It, it deserves that extra bump. It deserves the push. I think it's that good. I think it's very good. I think it's a great trait. Um, if I've got it, I love it. Uh, next, we have Physician. Uh, Physician is so good. Yeah, it's A. It's A. I agree, it's A. I thought about it. Physician, is there any... Do we do we need to talk? Do we need to talk where Physician goes? He had to give everyone the Chegif chat. Thanks, Tim Tam. Thanks for saying months, Betty. Do we need to talk about where Physician goes? I don't think we do. I actually don't think it belongs to Dr. Tier. I actually think it belongs to the tip, 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 top of S. So I think it's top of S. I don't think it's quite... Yeah, it's top S though. Yeah. It's top of S. Being able to turn a six 
second heal into a three second heal is great. Bleeds, and yeah, it works on there. It works on bleeds, does it all. It's so good. It's so good. It'll save your ass. It's so good. It doesn't bring someone back from the dead, but it's so good. It's a three second heal. It'll save your ass. The amount of times it has is ridiculous, right? A lot of people run them obviously together. You run doctor, physician. You generally run them in tandem, right? Obviously you run them in tandem. It's very good. Um, Pitcher. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna am I gonna make some people confused where I put Pitcher? Um Like honestly, this is gonna confuse some people probably. It's literally here. It goes it goes it goes it goes right here. Bottom of S, hundred percent. Pitcher is amazing. It's so fing good. Pitcher is so fing good. Pitcher is so good. It is so good. It's six points. I don't fing care. Get it. Get it and use it. Seriously. Get it and use it, and you'll realize why I've put it where I've put it. Because if you don't think it's there, chances are I probably have more hours than you. Okay? It's a great f***ing trait. Get it. It throws off so many people. Agreed. That's why it's still at the bottom of S, right? It's at the bottom of S. It's at the bottom of S, right? I'm not saying, you, you'll probably take other things over it. But if you get it, my god, are you happy. Like, it's so... Good. It's so good. Right? Make it A because Dawnless is an S. No, Dawnless is high S. Dawnless is up the top here. Of S. Dawnless is up the top. 100% it's so good, but I think Pitch is still S. I wish it was 4. Right? Yeah, as Hap said, I don't even take throwables in with me and I still grab Pitch. It's so good. Right? You can yeet frags so far. Okay? You can... It, you, it's, it's mandatory for a big bundle. Hey Pleasant, how you doing man? It's mandatory for a big bundle, you need to take it. Hey Asylum, how are you my friend? What's going on? Thanks for the raid buddy. Yeah, it's mandatory for a big bundle, you need to take it, you just do. And if you've taken a Hive Bomb with Pitcher, it's so good. Take a Hive Bomb with Pitcher, you're laughing. Okay, you're laughing. So good. Um, I'm gonna... Probably surprise people with this next one. Asylum, good to see you, my friend. We're in the middle of a tier list right now. It's going straight to the YouTubes. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. Yeah, also, Pitcher lets you throw chokes further, and if I'm dying and burn hard, you're so funny. Yeah, that's it. How's your stream, dude? Good to see you. Uh, next up, uh, this is going to surprise people with Poacher. It's to place and disarm traps quietly. It's actually, for me personally, it's right at the bottom of A. No, Kranos Austin is right. He is correct. It's very good. It's very good. We praise it because it's so good. Right? It's so good. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it's rated so highly. Because if you're, if a lot of you are, if you're confused why I've rated it so highly, you probably haven't been using it right. Let me tell you, right? You take in concertinas, yeah? You're fighting on one of those berms. Like one of those, you know, mounds in the middle that that, that litter hunt, right? Your combat trap. Yeah, I was doing... Kranos, I don't know if I taught him that, but I definitely have been doing... Oh, he does it with the, the fuses, actually, which is smart. But I've been doing that in mid-combat. And you put... Right? And you put a trap on the... You put a concertina. I use poacher all the time, Richie. What are you on about? I use poacher all the time. That's why I'm talking about it. I use poacher all the time. You put it on the left-hand side of one of those mounds or berms. And then you just move around. And the other person has no idea you've dropped a concertina. Why? And they walk into it. And then you just end them. You just end them. It's so good. It's low A. It's so good. Pushing into a compound and disabling traps. So good. Really. It's low A. Not much higher. It's also two points. It's very good. <clears throat> it's very, very good. What you can pull off with it is fantastic. I love it. So strong. 
So strong. Love it. Love it to pieces. Uh, next is Quartermaster. Quartermaster is not as good as it used to be. For those who don't know, Quartermaster... People also tend to not watch the... Well, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> uh, Quartermaster is... If quarter, if Poach was one point, yeah, it'd be high, but it's not. It's two. Um, Quartermaster is very good. Quartermaster used to be two long weapons. But now it's one big and one medium. I, I think it gives... So I don't use Quartermaster a lot, but just for the versatility... For the versatility that Quartermaster brings. It was two longs, yeah. Way back in the day, it was two long weapons. And you could bring in... I've probably got even footage of me playing with it, but you could bring in... My loadout back in the day it was Mosin Rival. Because it was a full Mosin and a full Rival. Okay, do you understand how good that is? You have a full Mosin and a full Rival. That was dumb. That's why they nerfed it. Quartermaster is very good at what it does. It also costs a lot though, right? I think the versatility for builds is fantastic. That's why I want to put it higher. But I personally don't use it that much because I'm pretty much fine with my pistol long ammo. Okay? Any space games? Yeah. Would you, would like, like No Man's Sky Raider? Yeah, I play No Man's Sky. All that stuff. I think Quartermaster is very good. If you get it in quick play, it's so good. But honestly, I think Quartermaster is either low A or really high B. Just because of the versatility you get. And I don't know which one to put it in. Also, uh, Peasant, thanks for giving yourself to Asylum. Cheers, baby. I think high B, personally, for me. High B. It's very good. I love what it does. I love what it brings to the table, but I really think that. <clears throat> you see, don't see Levering? All right, Levering's there. Levering's up in S tier. Levering's very good. Right, it gives you a lot. Right, Mosin, yeah. Bomb Lance, Obra is very strong. You get a lot of things with it, but it's so expensive for what it is. Right, it's still six points. Ephialardius, cheers, dude. Thanks for 18 months. Good to see you. Resilience, um... Resilience is also difficult because... You know, it's night, Chloe. Thank you. It's difficult because it's hard. It's hard to put resilience somewhere because when you've got resilience, oh, it's so good. But when you don't, it's like, oh, I hate life. I don't usually buy res. It also, it also obviously requires you to die. But obviously, everyone's dying in hunt. It depends how much you die. But also, it lets you make ballsy plays. So you've got to remember, this is all based on my personal opinion, and I like making really ballsy plays. So for me to make a really big ballsy play, low A is reasonable for me, but maybe even high B. Resilience is very strong. <clears throat> Resilience is very good. I've got to base this again. This is on my personal opinion. I think low A works for me. Low A. Resilience is very good. Right? It, it's very good. If you get revived with resilience, you're laughing. You might be missing 25 health. If, like, if you're missing a 50 bar, okay, it sucks. But if you're missing a 25, it's good. 4 or 5 wouldn't change much. Yeah, because a fanny pistol does take a medium slot. Exactly what Adam said, Kranosos. I don't think it would be OP. I just think it would be way too good for what it's worth. Uh, self skin, absolutely A. Not even a question. <clears throat> Slows your burn rate down completely. Slows your burn rate down completely. Um, and that and that alone, that alone makes it so good because it slows your burn rate down completely. Uh, next one. Uh, I'm waiting for someone to put a really cool pun in, but get ready for me to actually ruffle some feathers with this one. But Serpent, absolutely at the top, top, tip, top. The thing that all these three traits have in common <clears throat> is how they change the game. Right? These three traits change the game completely. In fact, Serpent was put in because of the meta. Because the meta was banish the boss, sit in the compound. That was the meta. It was <clears throat> And then Serpent got put in. To counter that. Quartermaster is better than resilience just because if you're solo, you can't resilience and Quartermaster wrecks the whole game. That's true. But I don't play solo. Really, Mike. That's why, again, it's my own personal thing. I don't really play solo. <clears throat> Serpent's so good. Serpent is so good. 
hundred percent. If any, does anyone disagree with where I put Serpent? Honestly, if you disagree, please let me know. But I really do think it's that good. Thanks for the follow, Raider. I really, it's, it changes the game. It completely changes the game. All right, Marta, why? Why do you disagree of where it's put? It changes the game completely. It's not as strong as Necro. It's totally as strong as Necro. Are you kidding me? It's totally as strong. Totally as strong. Notice I haven't put it above Necro, right? It's just there, right? You destroy camping bounty teams. You can even slurp off dead bodies. It's so good. The counter pickup, what it gives you is insane. And also, please remember, it's four points, dude. It's four points. It's four points. Four. Serpent is very red. It wins the game. Disagree entirely. The amount of times that you serpent a bounty and all of a sudden they have to push you because you've got their bounty. And you can banish with it, right? You can banish with it. It stops. It, it's so. I disagree entirely. It, can, it counters a meta, Richie. The camp meta, one trait completely destroys a meta. I, I know Necro is more useful. That's why Necro is above it. That's why Necro is more useful than it. A hundred percent. But Serpent... Serpent completely changes the meta. It counters the meta. If you've got Serpent, that's it. Meta's changed. You can't camp bounties. You can banish. You can Serp off dead bodies. Game changer. Total game changer. It's, 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 it's up there because these three traits are game changers. It doesn't matter like how much they change the game. They are total game changers. The existence of it. You don't have to pick it to destroy the meta. Yeah, but the existence of it is only a threat because people picked it. It's only a threat because people picked the damn thing. Anyway, moving on. We're getting di I digress. I personally put it there. If you don't just if you if you think it's high S, sure, I think it's up the top. I think it's so good. And if it's not up there, it's it's the tip top of S. It's four points. Right? <clears throat> it's useful for solos as well. I, it's either there or high S. It's one of the two. It's either the tip, tip, top of the tree or high S. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, it's very good. It changes the game. Necro changes the game. Serpent changes the game. 100%. Like, my god, think about this. If someone's in fucking Stillwater Bend or something and the boss is down the bottom, you're not gonna... You don't want to push down there. You're just gonna Serpent the bounty. No one wants that. Serpent is so good. It is a complete game changer. Complete game changer. <clears throat> Complete game changer. So good. So good. Anyway, uh, next up, Silent Killer. Now, Silent Killer is an odd one. Silent Killer is very, 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 very good. Especially if you're like me and you like to knife rush a lot. <laughs> it's very good. It's going to go in low B for me. Even though it's very good, it's still going in low B. The ability... Remember, this is my own personal thing. The ability to have that completely hush-hush is great. Low B. It, it, it's, it's just where it goes for me. Very good trait. Fantastic trait when you've got it. But uh, yeah, the use is not... Um, it's not something that's always going to be valuable, right? Silent Kill with Ghoul, very good. It's not something always going to be valuable. Serpent is always going to be valuable because you can always Serpent bodies off people. These traits are always going to be good. Not so much Necro if you're playing solo, but you get me. <clears throat> Silent PvP is secondary to movement potential taking out grunts. Exactly, that's why it's B. That's why it's low B. It's low B. It's good. It's good. It's low B. It might even be in high C, actually. Yeah, I get why you put it there because Necro changes the game for a team. Serpent and Doctor change the game for everyone. Yeah. Either, either, either high C or low B. I don't know. What, you think Silent Killer is that highly rated? Really? You think it's that high? Huh? Really? Damn. Okay. Run me through that. Run me through that. Give us, give us why do you think it's rated so... Why do you put it there? I think it's in low B, personally. Why do you put it so high? Again, again, obviously this is all personal opinion. Personally, why? In my experience, the melee attack sounds uh, give away position way easier than steps. Like, you hear steps way more often, but it's way easier to hear steps in long distance. Movement potential.
As in what? Elaborate on that. <clears throat> I can see where you're coming from. You'll still hear AI angering from the same distance, though. Right. It's primarily used for people. Silent Killer. It's primarily used, at least for me, for the knife stab. They don't know I'm reading my knife. Run me through it. I'm listening. I'm, I'm all ears. I'm, I'm curious to hear why. I think S is still a reach. Hat plays a lot more solo. It might make more sense to you. Okay, anyway, I'm going to move on because I've got some sponsored content to move on to, so I'm going to move on. We're going to move on. Low B for me, that's just me personally. Okay, my own personal opinion is where I put it. Uh, what are these? Steady Aim, I think? And yeah, this is Steady Aim. Steady, see, here's one. These are, these are awkward for me because I don't... I don't know where to put steady aim and steady hand the pair of them go together personally okay personally personally for me personally personally they're both in d they're both in d for me okay I almost want to put it in James. Actually, probably that's in James. Steady hand, James. Steady aim, got probably a little bit more. I don't use them. I don't use them. I think steady hand, James tier. Steady aim, D tier. I don't know. I don't really use them. I'll be real. I don't really use scopes. Aim and hand are different. Steady aim is good. Steady hand kind of crap. Kind of, kind of, kind of crap. Yeah. Tomahawk. Are we are we in agreement? Oh shit, I renamed this to Tomahawk. Whoops. Are we are we in agreement, Tomahawk? It's just like it's honestly it's just Are we are we in agreement? Like honestly? I think we're in agreement. It's if it's in the words of the poet Cardi B, if it's up, then 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 it's up. And now it's stuck. Okay, I think that's where it deserves to go. We all know this. We all know. Okay, we all know. Tomahawk. We all know. Roof tier. Absolute roof. Realistically, it's probably in C. It's probably, it's probably, it's probably mid C. <laughs> it's probably mid C. It's probably mid C. Yeah, that's probably where it deserves to be. Right? It's probably mid C. Probably, 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 probably C. Honestly, like real talk. Betray? Yeah, I don't use it. <laughs> I don't use it. <laughs> but if you're any good with it, it's fucking great. It's just great. Honestly, C. C is where I'm putting it. Hundred percent. Um. Yeah, I'm putting it in C. That's where I put Tom hands. Tom, Tomahawk, like honestly. <laughs> suggests a poll. <laughs> suggests a poll. Tomahawk, C or A C. Moving on. Um, moving on completely. Like literally, we're just moving on. Moving right along. Uh, vigilance.
Moving on. Uh, Vulture. Probably... I want to say... C? Maybe even D? Probably C. We're doing a poll. We're not... This poll is going to be ignored. Tomahawk should be S tier. Actually, you know what? Actually, you're right. You're right. You're right. You are actually correct. You are 100% correct. You know why? You are 100% correct. You are 100% correct. You are 100% correct. Because tomahawking someone will make the f***ing sun rise. If you tomahawk someone, you have a smile ear to ear. Enough said. It gets you an achievement. Okay? Tomahawk. Can you learn bird hunters? No, you can't. Same deal. Tomahawk. Tomahawk's at the top. Tomahawk. Fat green. 100%. Tomahawk. Not even a question. Is there a clip? Definitely. Tomahawk. Faith restored. S tier. 100%. It's where it goes. It's, it's above It's above them all. It's its own thing. And finally, Whispersmith. Uh, literally, Whispersmith is A tier. Like, not even maybe. Whispersmith is so good. It may be not that high A. Low A. Low A, but it's still A tier. It's very good. Whisper Smith is actually fantastic. If you're playing close range and around berms or indoors, Whisper Smith is so good. Pulling out, honestly, Whisper Smith and Silent Killer together are very good because you can pull out your knife and charge it and no one fucking knows. But it's also very, it's very cheap. Whisper Smith is so cheap. It's two points. Yeah, it's two points. It's low A. It's low A, and that's where we put it. Oh my goodness, lads. Tomahawk used to be something you bring in a fight, because even if you got good of trait, you can still one slow and die. Yeah, it's it's where I put it. 100% firmly put it there. Not even a maybe. That's where it goes. Whew. That was a good one. That was long. I think I think we're all good. Gosh, that was fun. I gotta get some sleep. No worries, guys. Thanks for sticking around. That was the uh, the tier list. Thanks for sticking around. It's a good time. You know where to catch me. You know where to find me. That was good. Cool? Cool. cool. cool.